Bonsoir, madame, je suis Coralie. Très heureuse de vous appeler. Voilà. Et Jacqueline Fongé, la vice-présidente du forum. Enchantée, bienvenue. Que représente pour vous Aung San Suu Kyi Elle représente euh, la persistance, euh, la patience, même la gentillesse. C'est une manière de faire de la politique que j'aime, moi j'aime beaucoup. Ça représente aussi la force de la non-violence. Et ça représente aussi, euh, comment vous dire, la capacité de garder ses propres idéaux à des prix que j'imagine énormes. Elle représente euh, le courage, l'indépendance, la résistance. Euh, et puis c'est une formidable image de femme. Le combat pour la démocratie comme euh, idéal suprême mais aussi la réussite, parce que de son combat, elle est en train de, de réussir. Je crois qu'elle représente d'abord une volonté hors du commun, euh, un parcours extraordinaire, un combat et une force de conviction exceptionnelle. Une somme de courage, euh, d'humilité, de détermination, euh, de quelqu'un qui, qui vraiment se bat pour son pays, son peuple. Elle représente pour moi exactement ce que j'ai admiré et ce en quoi j'ai cru, c'est-à-dire la force de la résistance des gens, leur capacité à tenir tête tout seul. Le sujet, c'est l'ouverture des frontières, parce que, évidemment, la démocratie progressera avec l'éducation en bien même. Il y a un autre point qui est intéressant à savoir pour les entrepreneurs français, c'est qu'il faut que nous venions avec des services de formation. Il s'agit vraiment d'offrir à la population les clés parfois les plus élémentaires du savoir, je crois que compte tenu de ce qui s'est passé en Birmanie, euh, on a une obligation euh, absolue de faire les choses bien. Et je pense que ce qui est très important, c'est de s'assurer que chaque fois qu'on agit, on le fait euh, dans le sens euh, des populations du pays, en respectant absolument euh, toutes les règles d'éthique. Bonsoir euh, Madame euh, Aung San Suu Kyi. Bonsoir à tous. Let me tell you how grateful and privileged we feel having you with us tonight. The Women's Forum is thrilled to be able to welcome you in Paris and to have this unique opportunity to exchange and share. I want to speak about the role that women have played in the struggle in Burma, as I see it in a personal way. I have found that some of the most loyal of our supporters have been women. They have been very brave and much more inclined, inclined to give up something close to them to help in a cause in which they believe. Although we are a small opposition party in Parliament, we have managed to keep up the, the force of our women in politics. And we hope to improve it as time goes on. And we hope that all of you will help us in this. This is the beginning of... Um, a new era, but whether it's going to be the kind of era we want or not will depend so much on what we achieve during the next three years. So I hope that all of you will do whatever is possible to strengthen our movement for democracy through our women. And also, I would like women to teach women to bring their sons up better. <laughs> Because in countries like we have been, I've been discussing Uh, countries such as uh, Afghanistan and other countries where the women are very repressed. And the question we have to ask is, why do these men grow up to be the kind of human being who repress women? Why do they not think of these women as their mothers, their sisters? How is it that they were not taught compassion and sympathy and respect for women? I hope that tonight you will talk about ways and means in which we can help the world to bring up uh, a gentler generation, both women and men. Because I think some women uh, get, lose some of the gentleness because they have had to fight so hard for their rights. And that also would be a pity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Where do you get that inner strength that got you as far from your house detainment in Rangoon to us tonight? I think the main reason why I never felt that I needed extra strength was because I never looked on what I did as a sacrifice but as a choice. And also I do not 
want to encourage our people to think of what they have done as sacrifices because human nature been what it is but if they start thinking that they have made sacrifices they want compensation they want compensation they want acknowledgement and that is not healthy just a question about um, your view about um Um, the role of youngsters in uh, Burma. Well, when I was on um, campaign for the by-elections, we found that the energy of young people is absolutely marvelous. Uh, we had great trouble trying to keep them off the roads. They were so enthusiastic. But the problem, of course, is education. Our young people have been very badly educated. They just do not know what to do because they are not skilled for any kind of profession. So we'll have to have job creation in tandem with vocational training. Thank you.